Okay, I just found out a few minutes ago I'm back in. I thought we were full, but that's cool. So um, I'm going to talk a little bit about, uh, actually first, who knows about Ignites out there? About half the crowd. Okay, so Ignites are, let me load some stuff up here first. What well, here is a map of where all the ignites are going to happen uh, for Global Ignite Week, which is coming up the first week week, week in March. And uh, just to back up a minute, ignites are kind of to um, they're kind of like bar camps out of food camp. It's kind of like uh, to ignites are like TED talks. So it's like it's open to the public. Anyone can submit a talk. It's not as exclusive as the TED talks, and they're usually free or close to free at cost to get into them. So. And uh, unlike uh, TED Talks, they're usually five, they actually are not usually, they're always five minutes in length. Uh, the, the, the MC times the slide, so when you get up, you get your slide deck, and you're off in five minutes. So um, what's up here now is a KML map loaded into Google Maps. And so something I've been doing for years for various projects. I mapped the locations of Java user groups around the world. And uh, one of the interesting things with this is uh, you can go into any one of these, and uh, if you click on it, you actually get a, a thumbnail of the actual live site, and if you click down in, you'll actually go to that Ignite's uh, event. And you'll notice that I go back to the, uh, to the map. Um, some of these are flashing on here. So I've taken the standard uh, Google placemarks, the dot, uh, the regular marker and the dot marker, and made an animated version. And the idea is during Global Ignite Week, we'll be animating them just for the window of time when we're live streaming. So basically, you'll be able to come to this map, if you see one that's flashing, that means you could click in, click down into the site, and see the live stream for that event. So that's the idea. And uh, uh, I have three minutes left. Great. I got a lot of time. So about a week ago, I got an email from Brady Forrest, who's the guy at, at O'Reilly that runs the Ignite program and is, is doing the Global Ignite Week. And he's all jazzed about this map. And he goes, so Microsoft is going to be a major sponsor of Ignite. Can you load that into a Bing map? And I'd never done anything with uh, Microsoft Bing Maps, and so I had to do some research. And what I'm sharing tonight is what I learned. So what I learned is, let me go back here. Now, yes, you can. In fact, um, I've, I've got, a, I've got a, a similar uh, KML file loaded uh, in Bing. It's a, there's, there are some restrictions with Bing, and uh, it doesn't have as rich a support with KML. The other thing is KML is really really more oriented toward 3D or Earth viewing uh, of map data. And you can load the KML file I was showing on Google Maps in Google Earth. Uh, Bing does also do the, the 2D and 3D version. Uh, I had to do it on this, on this uh, Mac, which is fine. But um, in order to show you the 3D, I would have to be on uh, a, an IE with ActiveX control, the, the 3D map control. So I can't show that. But if you are an IE user out there, and I know there are a few of you here, um, uh, uh, if you were to, to look at this map, and then if you have a 3D map control, you could do the 3D tour, which is pretty cool. I'd recommend trying it out. So on this map, uh, we don't have the nice folder navigation because I can't do nested folders. We just have an alphabetical list. But I could jump to a, I could jump to a specific uh, event, and it doesn't give me the rich view, but I can still do the more info and jump jump into the site. So, and the other thing I was going to show here was, um, let's see, back up. Okay. And they're also very easy to embed, which is what they want to do on the O'Reilly site. So I, I just had a simple test page of my own. And if I can view source here, do I have a Mac person? How do I view source? <laughs> very top. <laughs> Thank you. It's Chrome. It's complicated. Yeah. Oh, there. OK, so I'm used to, I don't know the, sorry. <laughs> the funny thing is I worked at Apple uh, a decade ago, but I've been doing all PC stuff. Anyway, so just to show you, uh, this is the code. Is it, does Control Plus do it here too? What, what's the? Apple Plus. Apple Plus, OK. So is that readable? Yeah. So I mean, that's all it takes to uh, embed one of these into a, into a web page. You know, basically, you have the, uh, the a few, Java, few lines of JavaScript for loading a Bing map, and you, you put in, you're using basically a shape source specification with the source of your map. What's really cool with these uh, is um, you can have multiple. This is all done in a code.cool.com project, but I've done it in a subversion repository elsewhere. As long as you can access the repository publicly, um, you can then serve these KML files over the net. Am I running out of time? Yeah. 
And uh, so we can have multiple, I, for the Java user group one, we have like 200 marks and I have like five committers all around the world that help me maintain the map. And when you make an update, everybody gets the update. So it's, it's cool, check them out.